Top product among mainstream with a great hash rate for BTC, powerful hash rate, stable operation, favorable customer performance, powered by Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. The chip switch outpaced the industry by 1.5 generations. Upcoming S19 XP, the new king. Dubai, the anti-miner S16 series has gained a population since it debuted over a year ago. Its cumulative chip might tops all the high hash rate as in miners land in the same period. Cool! What is the most popular model among the S16 series? The S16 25T is most popular in the series. It comes with 7 nanometers in. The hash rate reaches about 95 TH per second, 34.5 TH per TH, as for power efficiency. And the power consumption is about 3,250 watts. With the performance, hash rate, and power efficiency, it is perfect as a new one after being used for days. Go for it, test. Move on. Okay, I'm on it. Move on. How's it going? I have arrived, and I will pick a used S1695 key for the test. That's it. How long has it been running? Judging from the appearance, it is stained with a layer of dust. It has been used for some time. I have checked the SNO, and the result showed that the equipment is out of warranty. I assume the machine should have been running for over a year. How is the purest design? A depth alumina alloy integrating proximate matter and a mechanical electrical integration system design with a parallel four fan structure. Its overall design follows the previous two generations. The fan with double pipes provides better heat dissipation for the computing board. There are two fans in the front and the back of the miner respectively for the wing inlet and outlet, which gives it a better temperature adaptability. The miner is highly integrated. Such design can be seen on a power supply and a control board, so that it is more convenient for operation, maintenance, putting on the shelves, and removing. Have a look and how it works. 46 hours later. To ensure the authenticity of the data, I tested it over nearly two whole days. Look at my pen eyes. Come on, give me the data. According to the background data in the past 46 hours, the average hash rate is 95.8 TH per second. The power consumption is 3,150 watts to 3,180 watts. Actual power efficiency is about 32.8 joule per TH. Meanwhile, the temperature of the inlet fan is 38 degrees Celsius, and the outlet fan is 58 degrees Celsius. Let me measure the noise level. The noise level fluctuates between 80 dB to 95 dB. As the test environment is a bit noisy, the noise level of the miner is normal degrading the background noise. After running over a year, the hash rate measured is still consistent with the offshore specification, and the power consumption and energy consumption ratio are even lower. That's great! That's it! The miner is powerful, cost-effective and stable, thanks to the augmented circuit. Therefore, after one year of this release, the miner is still popular with positive users and a market response. Very well, move on. We also know that Big Man has announced the next generation AC Miner S16XP and World Digital Mining Summit in Dubai. As for the official specification, the hash rate is 140 TH per second, power efficiency is 21.5 TH per TH, and the power consumption on the wall is 3010 watts. Cool! That is to say, compared with the current S16 series, the S16 XP has a significant improvement in both hash rate and power efficiency. Yes, through the release of S16 XP, we can see that the anti miner is the latest industry for at least one to two years. No wonder it has become a major partner with Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company which is the leader of this industry. We exist in XP overthrow again the market's understanding of AC miners and establish a new era of hash rate. I am dying to see it. I'm Black Lubang, the gutter in the wild of Metaverse. I'm always here.